Hi, I'm Gary Knoll. I'd like to welcome you again to our ongoing series of Classrooms on the Air. This is where we take a look at the human condition. Think of all the anxiety, the living angst, what I call the big empty, where we're being as busy as we can, yet we feel incomplete. Something's missing. We don't know what it is. Think of all the crises that are occurring around us. Think of the people living in that town in, in uh, Ohio where that train wreck was. Think of their lives, the uncertainty of what they were exposed to and what might happen over the next 10 or 20 years. Think of all the people who once worked, had a living wage, had a nice home, and can't find that work today. has been replaced by automation or artificial intelligence or downsizing. Think of all the issues that are impacting us. Little wonder that we can be extremely frustrated because we as individuals have acquiesced the power to make positive choices to those in power, whether it's corporate power or government power and or cultural power. And so we feel like a little pawn. We're no longer considered relevant. Okay, that's one way of looking at it, but there's another way of looking at it. What happens when you feel helpless, hopeless? Anger. Anger at a lot of different things, sometimes justified, sometimes not. And then rage very destructive. Being outraged is not destructive. It just brings your attention to the fact that, wow, I didn't know that eating this was bad or smoking that was bad or drinking this is bad, or I didn't know that my money was being wasted. And uh, so you become outraged and you look for some way of venting that. Maybe by voting for a politician who says they're going to clean it up, whether they will or not, you don't know. But trust is important in this whole process. But if your, your anger is not dealt with, then you go into a sense of what's the point? What's the point? I'm one person against the machine. Okay. We're all just one person until we join together and start to stand for something we feel is important, something that we need, like an anti-war movement and being a part of it. Suddenly you don't have one voice, you might have 10,000 voices or 10 million voices. But the more your voice harmonizes with other voices against something you feel is wrong, the more something can change. It's been said that we need about 15% of the American population agreeing to something before it can be changed. So the empowered minority shifts the paradigm for the disempowered majority. I believe it's less than 15%. I believe as little as 5% really active working together can make positive change. But then if we don't do something, then we tend to become isolated. We feel loneliness. We feel depressed. We feel anxious. And then we start just maladapting to the very environment we're in. We don't go out. We don't socialize. We don't feel good. We don't feel, you know, we don't feel that energy to participate and to share. We're kind of in a gloomy place. So I did a, a talk on this very topic. It's called Anger, Taming the Beast Within. And why is this important? Because think of what happens when we become angry, justifiably so or not. We begin to speak out. We weaponize our words. We look at whatever we're angry about as the other. And then we prepare to fight. And that's not healthy. We need to be more reasoned instead of just angry. When we're reasoned, we can come up with multiple solutions. When we're angry, we just react. Think of how many times you've had to say to someone, you know, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Or I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't change anything in the ultimate. Uh, it merely means someone is tolerated you being wrong in a situation, how you acted, how you acted towards them and or even yourself. And frequently what we project upon other people is because we have that within ourselves. What we don't like about ourselves, we frequently make other people responsible for. So we have a whole lot to learn about anger so we can deal with issues. And I'm not saying don't be angry. It's it's you see something that's wrong, you're going to be angry about it. It's how you express that anger in a constructive way. 
not destructive towards others or yourself. You don't go out there and get in a fight. Someone, you know, someone uh, jumps in front of you in a line, you know, in a store. You don't want to get in a fight. You know, it's not going to end your life. It's not going to change your life. But what you do could. Think of all the fights that didn't have to happen. Someone got hurt or lost their lives. Think of the things that you said, and then you think, God, I wouldn't want anyone saying that to me. Then why did you say it to that person? You weaponized a word, like a dagger, and then you stuck it in them. So if it's not feeling good for you to hear something about yourself, then apply that same principle of not making someone else feel bad about themselves by what you're saying. In fact, if anything, being angry about something allows us to go to a quiet place and reflect, to put the information that we're angry about on a table and say, okay, why am I angry? Is it justified? How did this happen? And what can I do individually or with a group to change it? Now let's see all this come together in this very important film, Anger, Taming the Beast Within. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully you share with others that this had meaning for you. If, if it doesn't have meaning, if you don't relate to it, that's fine. Because every day I'm giving you something different. And uh, that you'll find something that does connect with you. Go to GaryAndAll.com and get all the information that I'm putting out. Long before it's shared with the rest of the public. Articles, essays, books, documentaries. And... Uh, also, go to prn.live, that's P-R-N dot live, for the finest, most objective, insightful, creative broadcasting of any network in the United States. In fact, it is the number one progressive radio network in the United States. It's not political. It looks for the truth, wherever the truth is. Harmonize that truth and shares it with you unconditionally every day. Thank you all and have a nice day.